Hello and welcome back to program 75 and in this video what I want to do is just say a little bit more about the max bars back behavior that I spoke about in the last video. So let's go to format uh, analysis techniques and if we go to the program go to the general tab what I've got at the moment is set to auto detect. So when the program is applied to the chart. You can see that the, the system is uh, working out that the max pause back is one. Now, when I first click on the chart, I'm gonna click one of the bars over here to the left. I'm gonna click once, then click again. And what the program has now done, it has calculated what the max pause back should be. And uh, everything will be fine, it behaves just as it did previously we can do the clicking on the chart and so on now if we go back and uh, we just refresh the chart go back to max bars back is one if we click to start with one of the bars over here it says auto detect again remember you'll see that the the program decided that the max bars back needs to be 79 which is fine and if we would click on other bars over here then everything is fine however if we would click on one of these bars what will happen is we get the refresh and then you'll see that the program has to recalculate the number of bars ago and that's fine but if you were using the feature such that you can see the previous uh, lines drawn uh, which which may be useful to you not so good because it clears the chart so what we can do if we just go back to the analysis technique and settings and general we could set a user defined number which has got to be sufficient for the bars that you're probably going to click so let's just set it at 300 the, uh, the program refreshes and now if we click here we'll see we get those lines immediately and if we were to choose another bar further back in time then we get that occurring as well um, that's uh, a a feature of the way this thing works the way that TradeStation works I uh, thought it might be quite useful just to explain that and uh, what I'm also going to do is just go back to the program and just change the commenting so that we don't have that print statement there